All right, it's true, I am Mike DeMonte. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> All right, so I'm American, my parents are back in America and we Skype very much, maybe about once a week. My father's in his 70s and he can't get over Skype. Hey, to him, the technology is like they've invented magic, all right? So he talks to me on Skype and he's always trying to get off. He's like, Mikey, we gotta cut this short. This is gonna cost you a fortune. I'm like, Dad, <laughs> Skype is fucking free. He's like, that's how they get you. I'm like, they don't even have <laughs> They don't even have my credit card info, Dad. They don't have my address or my real name. How are they gonna get me? I don't know, am I a technology expert? All I know is how they get you, and that's how they get you. So he's 70. And all his war stories are starting to blend into his regular stories. Like the other day he told me, Mikey, did I ever tell you the time the enemy had us surrounded? And then we ran out of bullets. And then what happened? And then we started slow dancing. What? And that's how I met your mother. What? You weren't even in the army. <laughs> All right. Someone tell me if this is true. I read this. Um, drinking pineapple juice makes your sperm taste better? Yeah. Yeah? That was quick. All right, fuck it. I'm not going to lie. I've done it. And it works. It's a hell of a lot easier and better than drinking my sperm by itself. I'll give you that. But what a weird claim. Couldn't you say that about anything? Like soda or grape juice? All right. Hey, Mike, do a joke about porn. Okay, guy in the back, you got it. Who's a big fan of porn? Raise your hand. Or guys, raise your hand. All right? Come on, sir. Okay, you, okay, okay, you've jacked okay, it twice okay, okay, since okay. we've been here. Get it up. All right, I'm gonna make a bold statement about porn, about guys in general. And guys, I'm sorry if you're sitting next to your lady, but I'm gonna blow up your spot right now. Every guy in this room owes 100% of his computer skills to porn. <laughs> Me included, I wouldn't know how to turn it on, okay? Case in point, uh, okay, I'm pick on you again. When did you learn how to clear your search history? Oh, when I was 11. Yeah, fucking porn, right? There you go. <laughs> What kind of porn do you like? Do you like like uh, Asian, Latina, MILF, uh, gay. gay porn? <laughs> what about you guys in the back? Girl on girl, girl on girl on guy, or as I like to call it, never gonna happen to me porn? <laughs> right, I was raised Catholic, which means that I was taught to never masturbate. Do any of you know what happens when a grown man doesn't masturbate? N no, you don't, because it's never been fucking attempted. <laughs> But I'm just kidding, I, I do support gay marriage. I do, I do. And I support gay marriage mainly because I'm in a straight marriage and it's gay as hell. <laughs> Trips to Ikea, brunches, antiquing, it never ends. The first time I was ever in Madrid was with my lovely wife, uh, then girlfriend. It was 2002 holidays. She says, why don't you fly to Spain with me and spend the holidays with my family? I said, great. And my Spanish wasn't so good at the time, but I think I was able to understand her father when he made it very clear that we were not allowed to sleep together. <laughs> right, boo. But no, it's okay, because for starters, I wasn't even like attracted to him. <laughs> like you're being inappropriate, I'm obviously here with your daughter. And back then in 2002, Spain only had one kind of condom, okay? It was one white condom, kind of lubricated in a very clinical box, right? There was no ripped for her pleasure or large or small or banana flavored. It was just one condom. And you had to wait in line at the pharmacy to get it, right? So there I am waiting in line at the pharmacy, practicing in my head, I'm gonna order this. I'm like, me das una caja de preservativos, por favor? And the guy goes, yeah. He goes to put it on the counter. Now what I should have said next was nothing went home and had sex like a normal person. But my big mouth got me in trouble when I made a joke which went like this. Uh, una cosita más. Super pequeño tiene? <laughs> and he says, I'm sorry, we only have the one size, 850. He didn't get the joke. Which means the nine people behind me didn't get the joke either. <laughs> they just think this tiny dick American is trying to hold up the line ordering small condoms. <laughs> but um, I think we were on the same page when we were planning our wedding. Um, we didn't want the traditional wedding. So my wife told me, uh, I don't want the type of wedding where you cut the cake and then shove it into my face because that's tacky. And I told her, I don't want the wedding where we write our own vows because that's cheesy. She's like, all right, fair enough. And then I said, I also don't want the type of wedding where I have to slow dance with my mom in front of all my friends because that's, like, that's like what we do in private, you know? <laughs> 
There's nothing sacred to love. Speaking of herpes, <laughs> we got two kids back at the house. <laughs> oh, that sounded really bad. <laughs> All right, let me rephrase that. My wife and I have two daughters of our own back at the house, so I guess you could say things are getting kind of serious. All right, this next joke always bombs, but fuck it, I'm doing it. It's a true story. The first time I ever saw a picture of a naked woman, I was 11 years old. It was sixth grade science class. Every day, third period science, I sat on my desk under one of those evolutionary posters that showed the primate ape gradually becoming the naked man and the primate woman ate, gradually becoming the naked woman. And I would look up at this woman and I would fantasize about her. And I'm like, wow, that's what they look like. And then my mom began to wonder, how far back on this chart would I go? <laughs> Where I would still do her, but it wouldn't be bestiality yet. <laughs> and the answer to that, coincidentally enough, is 143 million BC, which is called Homo erectus. <laughs> And this homo was erected. <laughs> That's the best that joke has ever done. <laughs> I think we need some fucking changes in America before it can be considered great again. And I'm gonna list some of them for you now. If you agree with them, let me fucking hear it, okay? So for starters, I think we need some stricter gun laws in America. And I think we need some preventative measures to keep dumb fucks like Donald Trump from ever running for president again in America. Woo! And I believe in gay rights and female equality in the workplace in America. Woo! And I believe if your cousin is super hot, you should be able to fuck one time in America. Woo! Where did I lose you? Was it the gay rights? Shame on you. It's my time. I'm Mike DeMonte. I love you, Stella. Happy birthday. It's his wife's birthday. Yeah. And we're going to sing her happy birthday. Three, two, one. Happy birthday.